right guys, one of the questions I get a lot when uh, discussing the uh, AK-74 platform and uh, basically anything that fires the 5.5, uh, 7 and 6 is how do you clean your guns after you shoot corrosive ammo? Well, that's what this video is for. Keep in mind guys, I live in the humid southeast where it's very hot, very humid, rust is a, uh, a legitimate problem. Um, so I go a little bit overboard, but right now I'm going to show you how I do it. Uh, there's other ways to do it, but the keys are water and uh, and then cleaning afterwards. Rinse that, rinse the uh, those salts out, those corrosive salts out of your gun, and then you know clean as normal. But we'll show you how I do it on my gun, and uh, that'll be it. All right. So for me, the cleaning starts right at the range. Um, I like to go ahead and spray mine down. This right here is a, a solution of one part ballastol, one part water. Again, though the key is the water. But um, I use the ballastol because it also has emulsifying properties, which which help with this kind of stuff. But let's go ahead and spray it on the brake real quick. Try to get those salts breaking down. Just let that run off. I go ahead and take the uh, rear cover off, and then uh, take the uh, bolt carrier out and the bolt. Spray that down real good. Try to get those salts going. Get those off there because they do like to accumulate there on the bolt, in the bolt carrier. And then also the keys, that a couple keys there, guys, are getting out of that gas tube. So I just spray right down in there, let it go out. And then also in the chamber, a little bit in the receiver, get it all good and wet because again, the key guys is that water. Um, so this is what I do here at the range. I'll show you what happens when I get home next. All right, so when I get home, what I do is I just take the rifle apart um, to the sawmill. I take the uh, bolt carrier down, put that in a bucket full of hot. You can see this is hot. Just dish soap water, brake, put that in there, top cover, put it in there the uh, bolt, put that in there, the um, gas tube, throw that in there, and then the uh, spring. And again, that's just hot water with um, a little bit of dish soap mixed in. And then for the rifle, I once again will take that, that ballast style solution that I had earlier out there at the range. And don't worry guys, this, this uh, is not pink. Don't let it fool you, it's actually tactical red, I promise. That's what I tell myself anyway. But uh, <laughs> Spray out just the chamber, um, get in there in that gas tube again, and uh, just a little bit around the muzzle. And uh, that's it. At this point, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these uh, parts that are soaking here in water, I'm going to leave them in there for like maybe three, four minutes, um, shake them off, get, make sure all those uh, corrosive salts get dissolved in there, give them a minute. And then um, after that, all I'm going to do from here on out is dry it off some paper towels and um, clean as normal. <laughs> finished product, a uh, nice, clean, properly lubricated AK-74 variant. Um, but one thing I wanted to clarify earlier, I said in the video, I said one to one, one, to one ballast salt water mix. Um, I actually use one to five, and I know guys that use one to ten, or probably even higher than that. Um, because the key that really matters, like I said earlier, is the water. Um, if you're using Windex, that's fine, it's not going to hurt anything. But what's actually dissolving those salts is the water in there, it's not the ammonia. So. Um, I use the ballast all though because it helps uh, bring the water off the surface of the guns once it dissolves those salts, so I, I like that. But um, if you guys have it, access to an air compressor, just go ahead and use water and then blow dry it out. But this here is for people that don't have that because I don't have an air compressor where I live, um, unfortunately, because I move a lot and just can't haul that around. But um, if you do, use that method much, much quicker, much more efficient. But as you can see, this wasn't too bad. Um, and to be able to shoot, 7 and 6 ammo that's so much cheaper than commercially made ammo, to me it's worth it. Um, more shooting equals more fun and equals more uh, proficiency as far as I'm concerned. So as always guys, if you have any questions on this or any of my other videos, feel free to let me know. I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing and we'll see you in the next video. Alright, thanks.